SGC here, and we are back for a movie review. Miss and Mrs. Cops. So, uh, this is uh, written and directed by Jung Dai Won, who previously directed that Garak Market Revolution movie. Haven't seen it. So he also writes and directs this. And this is actually called Girls Cops in the Korean English title. It stars Ra Mi Ran and uh, Lee Sung Kyung and everyone else, doesn't matter. Basically we have a legendary detective. She marries and then she works at a public service center at a police station. Doesn't become a legend anymore. Then we got our rookie detective who is, uh, you know, causes trouble and gets assigned to work in the same public service center. And what else can we talk about but them working on a case together. And that's that. Oh, and also they're both actually rambunctious and uh, no one really likes them and they're just too manly. Yeah, and they solve a case together. Did I say that already? I think I did. So what did I think? Well, oh, I forgot. Uh, Sue Young from Girls' Generation is also in this. She plays a hacker, a pretty intense hacker. And yeah. So this movie, I hope you can tell from the tone of my voice of how I feel. So you got a legend, you got a rookie, and you got a case. They're both pretty like physical, violent, got a, you know, very like blunt force to deliver the criminals and apprehend them. And it shows. So at first it's 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 like nice. Cause it's like, yeah, you know, you know, fight the stereotype, you know, don't give all the action sequences to the men. Dug it. And it was badass. And then she gets sent away, like, cause you know, the men don't like her. Like it's such a typical stereotype clique. Clique, cliche. Clique, cliche guys, cliche. But when like the detective thing actually happens, it's a really poor detective story. We find out there's drugs involved, and they hold up people, and they fight people, then they get caught, and then the husband shows up and tries to be a helpful, cool things. But he's like the opposite of all the manly men, like he's, he's like an artist or something. I don't know, he's not a police officer. So the all the manly police officers are like, oh, I'm so good, you woman. So there's that vibe throughout the film, which is like really <sighs> exhausting. Cause it's like, they're just put into situations where they can't like prove themselves for one. And also just like do their own thing. Like they just been bogged down cause they're more like physical with their apprehensions with the criminals. And yeah, then we got this like stupid, like fight sequence with like the drugs and stuff. Like the drug addicts, no, the, the drug dealers, and like all of a sudden they know how to fight. Like the main boss knows how to fight so well. It's like, wow, like there's no character coming from these guys. So we, we have the two leads who are, in a sense, I feel like if they were in a drama, it would have been fine. But how long is this film? I never forget, remember. 107 minutes, folks, and I still feel this is way too long. Maybe 90 minutes or under would have been better and just sort of show off, like be proud. And it was just like, no, nope, they're gonna be timid. They're gonna hacker has to be like really snooping about and type of stuff. Like they just can't, yeah. Like I think two sort of like more physical rowdy leads, like it, they just should have just went with it instead of like hiding it. Like, instead of like making it sort of like a thing that people don't like about them, sort of like wish that they just like, you know, no, man, no, take advantage. Like it's badass, be badass. And then there's like that stupid thing at the end where like we got our legend who does it at the beginning of the movie. And then we got a rookie who does the same thing. And it's just like, like it's so out of nowhere. Like there's this like Russian roulette, like what are your chances, huh, thug, huh, punk? What are your chances to survive, huh, punk? Like, what? So this was actually a chore to finish, but I did it anyways. 
I mean, yeah, like, I, I just wish it was... Like, the trailer was cut well, and you expect it, like, more, but, like... <sighs> I'm tired talking about it already. But anyways, so it could have been so much better, but it ain't. Like, oh well. Like, I'm not gonna watch his other film, because there's no reason to. I mean, unless someone tells me it's great and unbelievable, and I'm totally wrong. I wouldn't say totally, I could be wrong, because it's my opinion. <laughs> anyway, so that's it. I got nothing else to say. There could be a lot more improvements. Just embrace the badass. You know, embrace it. That's what you should have done. Anyways, keep liking, keep watching, and subscribe, and share! Because sharing is caring, and caring is nice, and nice is nice. So that's it for this movie review for uh, Miss and Mrs. Cop. Girl Cops.